A neighborhood crime alert on the south side. Surveillance cameras were rolling as a clerk jumped into action during an armed robbery at a liquor store. Channel 4's Corley Peel spoke with a man who saw the whole thing happen. Corley didn't just stop with the robbery, did it? First, there was a robbery at the Sahara Liquor Store. Then there was a chase all about an hour between each other. Now, the man I spoke with today says he's glad he paid attention when he says he saw three people stealing from the liquor store because that wouldn't be the last time he saw them. This security video showing a man stealing from the Sahara Liquor Store on Thursday is just the beginning of the crime Scott Brill says he eventually witnessed in the parking lot. As I was walking up, there was a big scuffle at the front door. Police say James Wall stuffed bottles of liquor in a backpack while Jennifer Arts distracted the clerk at the counter. You eventually see the clerk chasing Walls out of a store. Police say once they were outside, Edward Elliott jumped out of a van, pointed a gun at the clerk, threatened to shoot him before driving away. But not before Brill got their information. And I was standing in front of him and he just jumped in the truck and then I just walked to the back of the van and took the tag number down. About an hour and a half after Brill got home, he says he saw several cop cars out here on Live Oak Drive chasing the same car the suspects were in at the liquor store. Brill says he couldn't sit back and watch the one his suspects get away. So I got in my truck, followed and went and uh, traced them all the way. Investigators say the pursuit started when they found the stolen van at the Target off of Monument Road. The driver then took police through Regency Square Boulevard, eventually onto Live Oak Drive, heading back to Beach Boulevard. But after driving through a raceway parking lot, police say they followed the driver onto a dirt road off of Forest Boulevard, into a wooded area, and eventually getting stuck in the lake. They say the suspects tried running from police, but were eventually arrested. I'm just grateful it didn't end, it, it ended without no big getting hurt and it ended and they got caught because these kids were on a mission. Brill says he's just glad he could help police connect the crimes together. The owners of the Sahara liquor store tell me fortunately nobody was hurt and the inventory that they lost is easily replaceable. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.